Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to dart the back of a man's dress shirt and we're going to use these pleats right here. Um, these seem kind of far out and not normally where I would put a dart but because this is where they're at this is what I'm going to use. So the first thing I would do is match up the yoke seams because if you measure from the side seam in to where the dart might be, it's going to be off a little bit because uh, the hem at the side seam may be narrower or wider than the underarm or the yoke. So um, I'm going to create a center seam or center crease and we're going to measure from there. So I'm going to match up the side seams and pin them in place. Now you can do it just at the hem and then at the yoke, or you can do it at the underarm as well, or even along the whole side seam, just to make sure that that center crease is gonna be really straight. Now, as um, soon as I get a nice crease here, I am going to measure in from the center crease to the pleat, the underside. Now that pleat is 3 8 of an inch. And the, the measurement from the center seam to that pleat is seven and three eighths. So we're going to mark it at seven and three quarters because we have to account for that pleat that's coming back over. So I marked it up and now I'm going to create the long line where I'm going to fold the fabric to um, make my dart. I hope this all makes sense to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the box. I'm a self-taught seamstress, so I don't always know how to explain everything and how, you know, even all the terminology. So teaching you is also teaching me how to teach, if that makes any sense. So I would love to hear any feedback you have, you didn't understand it or whatever. Um, I'd be more than happy to uh, clarify. So now I'm folding on the chalk line that I just made. And this is gonna prevent the fabric from tweaking under the presser foot. Now, right, we're gonna start this dart way up underneath that pleat. And then we're just gonna sew it all the way down through the hem. And before you start this alteration, be sure to let the hem out of the end of the shirt um, because it has to come out. And then I'll show you what to do. So you start way up underneath that pleat because you're going to hide that. It's going to hide in, the, in that pleat. Sorry about the jumping. I didn't realize my camera jumped so much when I sew fast. Okay, here I'm, I'm letting out the hem, just unfolding it. Now... In the previous video, I show I mentioned how uh, you're going to have to true up some stuff. This is what I was talking about. Okay, so here's my dart. I pressed it towards the center of the shirt. Now, here's where the seam was uneven because of the where we did the dart and just the curve of the shirt. Um, we're going to trim that off. And that's just truing it up so that you're not going to have any issues with hemming it. And then you would just fold it up twice and then kind of blend it in with the other part of the hem and that's it. It's a really simple alteration um, and it just looks really good. And here's what it looks like on the outside, right there on that red line. So if you liked the video and it was helpful, please share it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.